My suitcase is always packed. Many people live in big houses. It's amazing what little space we actually need. I've got a solar panel here. It's from Bouge RV. It's 120 watt. It's a portable solar panel and the difference with this one, well, it's so different, but it has a kickstand. They wanted to send it to me and ask me to review it. This is not a promotional uh, video or section. Uh, they don't pay me to do this. They sent this to me, and I'm going to give it an honest review. But thank you, Boosh. Better waterproof performance, lighter structure, and robust kickstand longer service life, better light receiving area, suitable for solar power station system, which a lot of us have, and solar off grid system, RV home and boat. Yeah, higher efficiency, 23.5% higher efficiency. This is what is on the box. Let's test it out. This is a little bit heavy. I took it out last night, but I wanted to unbox it for you all. Um, it's a little bit heavier than my other ones. Um, let's see, what kinds do I have? I have that um, soft solar Renogy that I've had for two years now. I've got the Oakmo 120 watt. We've got the X-Star 120 watt solar panel. I've got my 100 watt flexible on top of my roof and Paul has, which I'm going to, let me just mention this. Paul has the Blue Eddy. It's a four section solar panel that he bought only six, seven months ago. Yeah, six, seven months ago. Well, guess what? It doesn't work anymore. So he um, wrote to Blue Eddy because there is a warranty on it. He can't return it to Amazon. That's been over. You can only return for so long. But the Blue Eddy, I'm going to mention Blue Eddy. No, 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 no. Bad customer service. They have not contacted him again. And he even mentioned that him and I did a review of that. They didn't ask us to. He already bought it. But they sent me a power station. And we thought, well, let's use his Blue Eddy. And so we actually did a commercial for that. He did mention in his second email that, hey, I travel with Minnie Van Lee. We make videos together. Now, we actually both did a review. We have not heard back from them. So um, we will never buy Blue Eddie again. I'm just letting you know that they do not have good customer service, even in the, in the face of somebody who could actually put out there that they're bad. So I'm just going to put it out there. No, I will never. And he will never buy Blue Eddie again. So um, what we're doing with the power stations, we've already had, I already have Jackery and he already has some Blue Eddie. Our next purchases will only be Okmo. We are very happy with the Okmo um, company. Now, I don't know if Bouge RV has a, a power station. They can always send me one and I will be happy to review it. Okay, let's get this out of here. Okay, it has a nice carry case. Look at this. Yeah. It's a nice carry case. Got a little snap here. Okay, so it's got a little handle here. Look at that. It's got zippers. Zippers. Okay, let's get this out. Okay. It's a little bit heavier than my other ones. Here's, here's their system. You take this, you turn it. There we go. And it opens up. Let's see what's inside here. We have an owner's manual. Here's the connector.
And here is an adapter cord. So you attach this to this. This is the MC4, male, female. Okay. Now it's, this isn't overly long, but we have, it looks like an eight millimeter DC connector. And this is all that they provided for us right here. When I first opened this, this screw was off. Now there's another hole here. I don't understand this system. And this is loose. As you can see, I can't get anything in here to uh, tighten it. I mean, yeah. So we t I tightened it with my fingers. So here's the system. So what, have, see there's a hole right there. So I don't understand why and, and there's, you can feel that I could tighten it with something, but as you can see, I can't get at it. I can't uh, get at anything to tighten this, so I don't know what's up. It'd be nice if they had one go all the way through or have this head go over here so you could, so you could tighten it. But let's go ahead and see what this is. So this lifts up here. And then we tighten this. We tighten this. So if you look here, it's wobbly. I did not like that at all. Now the box says sturdy kickstand. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced at all. This is very lightweight. Now this, I think they wanted this so that you could angle it a little different. Like I could angle it down there, right? This one, you see this screw, yes, it's the same as the other one. And this one actually is loose also. But you can see I can tighten this one. This one, there is no way to tighten it because this is in the way. And it's wobbly. Okay, let's do the other one. The same thing. This one's very loose. This is very loose, and I can't really tighten it. But there is a hole right there. So, I don't know. And then this goes... See? This is very lightweight. Let's pull this up. And this goes up. And let's tighten this. Okay, put that this tighten. Let's see. Look at that. Yeah, it's wobbly, folks. It's wobbly. And there's no way to tighten this. And this looks like, I don't know. Oh, this is on with this screw. Okay, well, that's not so bad. But this is not good. Not good at all. So let's see how it works. I'm going to take this outside. This Just so you can get a better... This is where I attach the MC4, and here is my cord, not overly long. Here's the eight, I believe this is eight millimeter. It could be something else. Let's go find out. I've got my Jackery here. Let's hook this up. Let's make sure that it actually is eight millimeter. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is. It's eight millimeter. It is registering. Let's see how long it is because I don't like to leave this out in the sun. So I'm going to go see if it will reach to the tent.
This is as far as it goes. So let me pull this back. See if we can get this in. Okay, yes, okay, it, it's coming in. The lighting is, you know how the lighting goes. The sun shining. Let's get this over here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It's pulling in 97 watts. That's pretty good. Yay. Okay, yay, Bouge RV. This is a good one. Because even the extra, well, the extra, I think it would pulled in like 102. This is pulling in 97 right now. It's still morning sun. So, so, you know, yeah, I bet by afternoon, this would be pulling in 102. So I'll give it a thumbs up on wattage. I'll give it a thumbs up on ease of putting it together. I'm going to give it a thumbs down on the kickstand. They need, um, just bouge, seriously. All you need to do is get a better kickstand. It's just a better design. That's all you need is get a better design. It needs to be sturdier. We don't care if it's a little bit heavier. We want it sturdy, right? Right, people? Yeah. Um, you know, we're going to let them know. We need sturdy. And you need to change the, um, the bolts going in so we can tighten them up. It almost seems like it'd be nice, like, well, I don't know. I'm not going to design for you. But, uh, yeah, get a better kickstand design. And we want longer. We want longer cords. Longer. A little bit longer. Not The longer it is, sometimes the less um, wattage. It, it cuts back on wattage. But a little bit longer. And, you know, if you really want to make this 100% fabulous, give us, uh, have one cord but then have different connectors that you can connect it. Oh yeah, have a, it did come with it did come with another attachment. But in all seriousness, that's like that's like a two millimeter. I don't know. I don't know what what would what this would go with. This is yeah. This is not. You'd have to buy adapters. But why don't you provide them, Bouch RV? Um, Oakmo, that's one of the reasons I like Oakmo. Sorry, Bouge, and I'm going to mention Oakmo. But they have a cord. It's really long, and it comes out the cord, and then it branches out into four, I think it's almost five, five different connectors for all different types of power stations and everything. That would make it really good. So, okay, Bouge, uh, this is your review. Um, I'm going to give it all together. I'm only going to give it a, a, a C plus because if your selling point is the kickstand, you got to do just a little bit better. Okay, but this is a worthy solar panel. Okay. Let's open this up. Yeah, get a little light in here. These are supposed to take away... Um, negative energy well i don't think i have any but let's see Yay. Okay, so what's going on out here in Camp Fuego today? Well, today, uh, Paul and another fellow, they went out in his Jeep, and, and which is um, sufficient for going down these. He, I think they're going to do the Peace Trail part of it. It's this huge trail that goes all around this area. So they're out doing that in... I am kind of cleaning up just a little bit. Let's get this on. Okay. It was freezing this morning. 
actually, I, I should have crawled in my sleeping bag last night. I think it got down to like 32. Seriously, I should have crawled in because I kept waking up. My feet were so cold because I don't like to sleep with anything uh, against my legs or my feet. So uh, I woke up this morning. I slept in. It was so cold. But I got my heater going. So what I do to stay warm when it's really frigid cold or getting there is I just, I dress. Today I have uh, all fleece on. Sort of look like a priest, huh? <laughs> I know. Um, but I have a fleece outfit. I've got the fleece pants. I've got uh, leg warmers on. I've got my merino wool socks on. Yeah. And actually this is keeping me very warm. So I turn, I roll up my bed. I have to roll it all up before I can get out my heater. And I roll up all my blankets. And you can see I've got wool and I've got my uh, purple yoga blanket. I've got wool and I've got that Sherpa. And yeah, it was, it was cold last night. But this morning I got it really um, warm just by using my heater. A lot of people, what they do is they turn on their cars and I don't do that. Um, so I just, and it got warm and then I made my coffee. So I had my stove going. I don't like to have both going at the same time because it's a lot of heat and uh, fire going on in, in here. So as soon as I made my coffee, I turned my heater back on. Um, I'm warm. As soon as the sun came up, this is Arizona. So there's a huge range of temperature in a 24 hour period, all the way down to 32, all the way up to 70. Wow. So it's going to get up, I think, to 68, 70 today. I may have to actually take my fleece off and get something a little bit cooler on. Definitely not shorts or sleeveless, no. So I slept in this morning because it was a fun fire last night. We had 14 people here, and I'm glad that we extended out that fire pit. Yeah, so we did that, and... Um, Max, when he went down to Mexico, he bought these one squeaky chickens, enough for everybody. And so we did like truth or lies, like truth or dare. But if we thought it was, when somebody said something, if we thought it was the truth, we would squeak our chickens. But if it was a lie, it was just crickets. Nobody squeaked anything. So we had fun. We were asking questions. We went around like three or four times. Fun. It's a great way to get to know everybody. And what else do we, we, well, I just stayed up to like 10 o'clock, which is very unusual for me. I like to get in because I still had to brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, get, get settled in, in my, in my minivan. So yeah, it was a lot of fun last night. And some of you say that you'll be here uh, tomorrow, Friday or Saturday, Sunday or next Monday. Now it's going to be going on all next week. So if you come a little later, don't worry about it. We're here. And because we're nomads, we had quite a few people here already, but some have actually left already because that's how nomads roll. Um, they come, they get antsy, and then they leave. So, but uh, for all the people that have left, and uh, if I didn't get a chance to say goodbye, you left early in the morning, uh, I really enjoyed having you, and um, it was a lot of fun. So we got some new people coming. Yay, yay. Um so some of them, when they um, see my van, they do say, oh my gosh, it's so colorful. It is colorful in here. I have a colorful suitcase <laughs> because it's always packed. And I love my space here. And they're always um, amazed. They go, oh, I get to see mini I mean, in person Mini Van Lee's, um, you know, rigs. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on out here. In Camp Fuego. I'll get you some more pictures and footage. Hey y'all, I got my first package and I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open my packages, those gifts that you sent me, and I'm gonna open them on camera. I'm gonna film it. Now, I'm not gonna show her name and address, but it's here. <laughs> her name is Sue. And thank you, Sue. Let's see what we got here. Exciting. Okay. Looks like I can 
we go. Hey, Christmas! Okay. Michael Smith. Yes. Oh, yeah. Michael Smith. Michael Smith. Looks like all Michael Smith. There we go. I've got some music to play. Thank you, Sue. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I love them. Love, love, love them. Yes. If you send me something, and I'm not begging, but some of you did ask, Lee, give us an address so we can send you a gift if we want to. Well, let's see. What day is it now? If you were going to send something, I would probably do it within the next couple of weeks. And then after that, yeah. So, yay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love you, Sue. Okay, here's Abby. Conversations with Abby. Hey, Abby. Look at everybody. Yay. Say hi. Okay, well, I'm going to ask Abby some questions. And she's going to give me the answer because, you know, she's like, you know, it's like, dear Abby. Dear Abby. Okay, dear Abby. What should I have for lunch today? She thinks I should have a tostada. Thanks, Abby. Dear Abby. Yeah. You are so smart. She is so smart. She really helps us out. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and we'll have a little conversation with Abby again and I will ask her and we can get all those answers to any of your problems. Cause she's like, dear Abby. Right, Abby? Look at that nose. Oh, it is wet. Ew. <laughs> okay. So we have another question. I have, we can do the chicken game again, or I do have some charades. I have little papers. Do you think, uh, hey, dear Abby, do you think tonight would be a good night to do the charades, or should I wait till more people come? <laughs> Thanks, Abby. She thinks I should wait till maybe a couple more, a few more people come and then we'll do the charades. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, Abby, dear Abby, I really need some help with this. What, <laughs> what should I do for the talent show? What should I do? Okay. Ready? I knew it. I knew she'd say that. She wants me to sing a song. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta figure out what song. Yeah, now I gotta figure that out. Okay, so we're gonna do a song. Oh, okay. So you want me to sing, um, The Moon Belongs to Everyone? Okay, that was pretty good. Pretty good, Abby. If you have any questions, we'll do a little segment, Conversations with Abby, and she can answer your questions, okay?
got some packages. I won't turn it around because I don't want to show you the address. But this is from Donna. Hey, Donna. I'm going to open it. And this is from Mary. Mary. Quite contrary. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to open these up. I'll use scissors. I'll be real careful with them. As careful as I can be. Big unveiling. Oh, there's a note. Liam Paul, I hope you enjoy this video. I did. I hope it still plays. Okay, I haven't watched it in years. I'll pick up another copy to watch it again. If you've already seen it, you can pass it on or donate. Donna. Conversations with God. He went from life's lowest point to its greatest dream. Ooh. Paul's sitting right there watching. So we're going to watch this. Sounds very good. Yes. Thank you, Donna, so much. Mm, love you. Thank you for the note. It's very special. Okay, now this one's going to require the big the big gun. <laughs> yes, I know. Let's see. Turn it around so you don't see somebody's address. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a big box. Let's see. Okay. Gavalia. Guatemalan. Let's see. What kind of coffee is this? Coarse ground. Paul, this is for you. Yay. This is. <laughs> let's see. Thank you, Mary. There you go. I haven't tried it yet. I, this will give me what I need. I appreciate Whoops, that. Whoops, we got much. we got things. Coarse ground. What is this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I see some movies. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. I remember this one. Uh, Beverly Hills. <laughs> Troop Beverly Hills with Shelley Long. Yes. <laughs> I think her and I kind of have a little bit of the same personality. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now this one. I have never seen Christopher Walken though. Hello. There we go. Looks good. These are comedies. Travolta and Williams. Old dogs. Oh, you know what I like. You know what I want, don't you? Oh, this looks good. Johnny Depp, Angel. I've never seen this. These are movies I've never seen. Paul. Mary, you're amazing. The I know it. The Tourist. Seen. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Hugh Dancy and Rose Byrne. Adam, I have never seen this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Have you ever seen this, Pa? I'll have what she's having. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> Guys and girls can never be friends. Oh, that's not true. Well, what about... Well, what about the heavy ones, the ugly ones? No, we pretty much want to do them, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. Vince Vaughn, he is, like, my favorite. Well, one of mine, but um, Dodgeball. I'm, yeah. I, I think I've seen this before, but I don't remember it too well. Oh, yeah. Mean Girls. I've seen this. Yep. Lindsay Lohan. Have you seen this one? No. 
Mean Girls. It's pretty good. I've never seen this one. Baby Mama. Wow. She's got some... You, Mary. Oh, my fair lady. Oh. I know. I'm a real lady, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I could have done Stone Eyes. There we go. Oh, now this one I don't know. Uh, sisters. I've never seen this one. Wow, you outdid yourself. Bruce Almighty. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Annie Hall. <laughs> people, I remember um, when that hat, everybody, in weird, the first year people said, you look just like Annie Hall because of the hat. Oh, I sure. I yeah, but a lot of people have said often on your life, you remind us of Diane Keaton. Right now, I look like Garth, though, don't I? <laughs> Party on Garth. Oh, Drowning Mama. I've never seen that movie. Drowning Mama. Okay. Oh, and yes, Dan in real life. I love Steve Carell. I'm a huge fan of The Office, the American version. Um, yes, yes, I love it. And we've got a couple of, oh, oh, we got, we got notes here. And Lee, look, aw, isn't this the sweetest? I am a movie enthusiast as well. Books and DVDs have always helped me get through some tough times and have brought me a lot of joy. Thank you, Mary. I wished to have sent you my personal collection, but they all got donated to Goodwill. Well, that's a good thing. However, today I had fun searching for some of my favorite DVDs at two Goodwills and one Savers. Yes, I used to go to Savers all the time. Here in South Bay, ooh, Los Angeles. Please let me know if we've got similar taste and which ones did you and Paul enjoy together. Thanks for making awesome content with Paul. Oh, my love, Mary. Mwah. Thank you, Mary, so much. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Fun, fun, fun times. And, um, what, what was, I can't think, I keep wanting to quote that. Fun time. It had Sean Pam when he was young. Fun times at something high. But anyways, yeah. high. something like that. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. And do you want to read your card? Sure. Let me see. Let me get you in here. Okay. Dear Paul, this bag of coffee was the only coarse ground I could find at my local grocery store. I hope medium roast is adequate for a coffee connoisseur. I know you're not talking about me. I'm not <laughs> a coffee connoisseur by any means, but... Thanks for taking such good care of our girl, Lee, and for all the laughs. Love, Mary. Mary, thank you very much. That's very, very thoughtful. And I, it's mid-afternoon right now, but tomorrow morning, I'm going to make a pot. We'll see how she does, and I'll certainly let you know. Thank you, Mary. We can record it. Can we record it? Oh, certainly. Oh, let's record it. Sure. Making the coffee. There you, you go. You can do the coffee. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good idea. Thank you, Mary, so much. Yes. And thank you, Donna. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. So, Conversations with God, that'll be be, be good. It, it looks like it's a good one. So. I wish we could have movie night tonight, but we have to record a podcast. Right. Then tomorrow night, good. we will do a movie night. So, okay. Bye.